dance moves, clutch shots, and big jams, the College Slam Dunk and Three Point Championships had everything. Once I got the call, it was a no-brainer. Like, you know, um, these red jerseys, too. We don't get, a, get too many chances to wear these red jerseys, so uh, pop out on some new uh, Arizona threads and just put on a show for Bear Down Nation. Just giving a little thank you to all the Havocs, all GCU. I mean, I can't even put into words what they've done for me and what the school's meant. Arizona's Keyshaw Johnson and GCU's Gabe McLaughlin represented State 48, and McLaughlin walked away with the dunk title. I'm not gonna lie, I was stressing. I mean, uh, we just got out of March Madness, so I mean, there wasn't much time to rest, so I rested, and then um, I practiced that last dunk an hour before this event, so never made it, it, it went down to the wire, and then. Uh, Walter Ellis, that guy right there, was texting him and he was just like, all right, here's the playbook. And we were like, all right, I've never made some of these dunks, so let's just try it. We even had the chance to show Gabe a dunk from his days as a Basha Bear. That's your highlights from Basha. No and way. there's a dunk there. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The shorts were a lot longer back then, uh, so it shows how, how kind of old I am. If young Gabe, that Gabe in that video, was talking to you, what would you tell him and what do you think he'd say about how your career has gone? You know, right now what I tell him is that, you know, there's a big God there and uh, go find him, know it's Jesus Christ and lean into him and a big God will do big things. Like, I could never see this Gabe coming and doing this, if we're being honest. Um, and now holding it, it's like there's only one reason and it's, it's Jesus Christ, so it's super surreal. What's it like when you get to just be a fan tonight? Man, uh, I was a fan of all the dunkers, all the, all the lady uh, three-point shooters, all the male three-point shooters. Man, it's, I feel like a kid again, you know, uh, long season, long college career, finally came, came to an end, you know, it's bittersweet, but to just finally uh, settle in and, and just look back at all your accomplishments, share it with an event like this, that's all you can hope for. It's amazing. I mean, honestly, basketball is a beautiful sport. Um, like, I have a deep love for it, and so seeing guys just in their own crafts do their own unique things, I mean, they're writing their own stories, and uh, it's beautiful to see their art come to life. The three-point champs brought the house down, too. It comes down to, you know, muscle memory at the end of the day, but uh, really just trying to have fun with the moment, too. Um, I, it's a really good opportunity. You know, I don't really get a chance to, you know, obviously meet other really good athletes in different conferences and stuff like that, so I think the biggest thing is just the, the other really good athletes that I met. Well, you know, it was super fun, you know, like, it's like a different feeling than, like, the actual basketball game, but, you know, it is fun, you know, it is fun to play, you know, from the lot of fans. Yeah, it was, yeah, you know, it was a great time. And don't worry, Keyshot and Gabe are still chasing their hoop dreams after college. What's next for me, um, pretty much choosing an agency. Um, I'm pretty much on the verge of uh, getting that done and then giving my all, working out um, for whoever whoever that, uh, that's ready to pick me up. I think I could be an impactful, uh, impactful player to any NBA team that gave me right away, too. Wherever God takes me. I mean, right now, just uh, doing the grind, right? And just working out and wherever God lays the next step, I'm walking in. Trust him. From GCU Arena, Eliav Gabay reporting for Sports 360 AZ.